Professor Dr. Balram K. Gupta, Director, Academics, Chandigarh Judicial Academy, to please share your insights on this topic with us. The Peter Familias of Bombay High Court, Honorable Mr. Justice Dipanka Datta, co-chaired by Honorable Justice M. Satyanarayanan, Judge High Court of Madras, and co-chaired by Honorable Mr. Justice I.P. Mukherjee, Judge Calcutta High Court, and the co of Justices and Directors of the Judicial Academies. I'm happy this morning on three counts. This session is being chaired by the Chief Justice of Bombay High Court. Bombay High Court has produced some of the best of judges in the country. The second count is Chandigarh Judicial Academy is being guided and nurtured by Honorable Justice, Mr. Justice T.S. Dinsa, the President of Board of Governors of the Academy. And the third count is I have a co-panelist in Professor Vijay Kumar. I've enjoyed not a very long association with him but a meaningful association. I respect him immensely as such for his contribution that he has made. Till the end of 20th century, the Indian judges were shaped in the laboratory of courts at all levels. It is only after the advent of the 21st century that this task of shaping the judges has been taken over by the National Judicial Academy and the State Judicial Academies as such. When we talk about adult judicial education, certainly I would confess, even with my academic background, that judicial education is not an extension merely of legal education as such. And in that particular process, we have to nurture the young judicial minds, the endagogy which has to be followed in this particular context needs a specific context and background. To me, judicial education means senior judges share their experiences with the younger judges. Legends in Law by Videsh Sai is a must for all young judicial officers. It contains 42 life journeys of best of judges and lawyers. And it's an adult dose for judicial officers to really go through the journeys of these best of judges that this country has all through produced. Why do I share that the senior judges share their experiences with the younger judges. The actual demonstration of that, we saw in the two sessions, the first two panel discussions which took place yesterday. Justice Bhatt, the kind of interaction, the manner in which he shared his own experiences, dealt with the different issues raised which concerned the young judicial officers. Same was the story of Justice Hemant Gupta. 
He spoke from his experience, dealt with different issues raised on the platform here. And the recipe that Justice Hemant Gupta suggested, if you wish to be a good judge, be a good human being. And that is the task of the judicial academies which need to build up that particular aspect of the matter. When I refer to the Bombay High Court, I had at the back of mind Chief Justice M.C. Chakla. He was the Chief Justice from 1947 to 1958. He even very politely refused to go to the Supreme Court for that matter. And the marble statue, white marble statue, which is in front of court number 52 in the Bombay High Court. And the inscription is something which is motivating for the young judicial officers. A great judge, a great citizen, and above all, a great human being. That is what really is the task for the judicial academies to cultivate to ensure that that is carried out. Harold Lasky once wrote a letter to Justice Holmes and he said, how much I wish if the people could realize that judges are human beings. And Justice Holmes wrote back to Lasky how much I wish if the judges could realize that they are human beings. This is the challenge of the judicial academies. This is the challenge of adult judicial education for that matter. And in that context, as it was being said, judicial officers, no ego, no arrogance, only elegance. This is what needs to be nurtured in the young judicial minds. That is the task which is a challenge for that matter. You know, so many things need to be cultivated and the judicial academies need to play a significant role in that particular context. I would particularly like to refer what is being done in the Chandigarh Judicial Academy. You know, the lecture method or the PowerPoint presentations is not the right situation for the judicial officers to be followed at all levels for that matter. Simulation exercises case files, decided case files. The judicial officers go through the files, framing the issues, appreciating the evidence, and then writing the judgment as such. And what was suggested by Honorable Justice Hemant Gupta yesterday, a judgment should run like a story. In simple language, short sentences, this is what needs to be cultivated amongst the judicial officers as such. From moots, we need to move in the judicial academies to mock trials. Mock trials are conducted in the Chandigarh Judicial Academy as a regular fixture. Two faculty members on a particular proposition on issues which concern largely human trafficking, NDPS Act, in civil matters and other matters. A proposition is given. Different roles are assigned to the young training judicial officers. 
they play those different roles. One particular trial goes on for a period of three days. And at the end of it, each trainee judicial officer is required to write a judgment so that they actually get the exposure of what actually needs to be done in that particular context. This is the effort which is being made and this actually needs to be extensively carried out. You know, a trial judge is on trial throughout the trial. That is what the message is actually conveyed to the judicial officers in that particular context. Yesterday, the Honorable President of India specifically pointed out that specific permanent platform of knowledge needs to be built up. What the Judicial Academy Chandigarh is doing. We started with the e-newsletter way back in May 2016. Regularly it is being brought out. It not only links the academy with the judicial fraternity across both the states but also across the country and even beyond the country. Besides covering the latest cases, civil matters, criminal matters, constitutional matters, and everyone's some specific particular area which is a concern of the district judiciary are covered. And at the end of the year, the annual digest of cases is ready for this particular process. And besides that, the editor's editorial, the case comments, articles, so that the judicial officers are well equipped in that particular process. And to augment this effort, we have started with another aspect. And that aspect, study circles in each district in both the states. Every month, the district in session judge allocates a senior, say an additional district judge and a younger judicial officer. On a given issue, prepare a presentation. They do that. And then on a given date, the entire fraternity of the district, judicial fraternity of the district discusses that. And after discussion, what needs to be incorporated, what needs to be excluded is taken care in that particular context. And that presentation, final presentation, works as a bench book, is a guide for the judicial officers to enhance the capacity to function in that particular context as such. Our judicial officers at different times are faced with challenging situations from Nirbhaya to Sacha Sauda to Dishi Ravi challenging situations they need to be prepared for that kind of situation as well. You know, in that particular context, I'll briefly share the such a Swada matter that I'm referring to is of August 2017 from Panchkula in the state of Haryana. Such a violent situation, so many killings, so much of property was destroyed. And the judge concerned, the CBI judge, dealing with the matter as such. It was such a big concern. 
and in that situation to come out he played his role and the confidence of the public in the judicial institution was really reinforced in that process similarly if you go to the sensitization issue so many issues arise which concern the society and the judges need to be given the inputs made be poxo maybe made be domestic violence juvenile justice issues are large and workshops regular need to be conducted it's not the lecture method at all you know the role of the judicial academies from the classrooms to the court room we have to convert the classrooms of the academies into court rooms that is what is the real challenge judicial academies they need to tell them that a judge is how to manage the court how to conduct the court your conduct inside the court outside the court such variety of things and judicial stress is one particular aspect which is a concern for which we need to do something as such it is in that context that the judicial academies mentoring mentoring the young judicial trainee officers for the future some kind of a recipe needs to be prepared for that and finally the constitutional morality constitutional values and constitutional vision are basic part of the basic structure as such i'm just ready the judges need to keep company of the holy book the constitution i'm conscious that i've overspelled and my only alibi is of course elizabeth taylor when she got married for the seventh time she said i shall be brief being the first panelist speaker the field was virgin the field was open and therefore my alibi to have spilt over my time thank you so much thank you so much